There it goes. Okay, sorry. Hi everyone. Welcome to a new game. Finally starting it. This is Dragon Quest Builders 2. Uh, sorry for the weird opening, but the game is very persnickety. It won't play any audio if it's not the active window. Oh, a little terrible. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started with this tonight. If it ever goes quiet, it's because I clicked off of that window, so hopefully that didn't happen too much. But we will jump in. It's either like, and it's also slightly too big for my monitor when I run it in windowed mode. Uh, but I can't run it in full screen mode because I can't choose what the default monitor is. Um, and it defaults my other one. So then I'd be looking in the wrong way, and that would be crazy. Anyway. Let's go ahead and do this. I Oh, no, hang on. Hang, no. I can, man, we're gonna be stuck with the default. The default for a moment. It's so nice to be able to type in that. I didn't even think about it. I just tried it on a whim, but you definitely can't. You can change your character's appearance, gender, and name once you reach a certain point in the game. So I'm not happy. I'd like to just... Oh, previous screen is escape. There we go. Nice. Gotta have purple hair. Gotta have blue eyes. It's very important. There we go. That's better. All right, all these should be the same. Also, very important for everybody watching, minimap view, please set that to fixed. North should always be up on the minimap because if it isn't, then we have failed as a society. Everything else looks good. Cool. Also, the graphic settings don't, <laughs> they're not applied. Um, they just aren't applied. When you change them, you have to reboot the game. So that's, otherwise I would try to find a better solution to this. Look, North should always be at the top of the map. Again, if it isn't, then what's the point of the map? <laughs> and it's more of an indictment on our society than it is on any individual. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is unskippable whenever there's text like this. So we are at the mercy of the game to decide when we get to advance that. Oh, look, it's Hargon. Thus decreed the great and glorious high priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Look, I'm a little left. Quiet, or, uh, dark here. There we go. Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and the world would be consu consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrich before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Blah! Okay, I don't have a, I guess we can just do, let me know how the sound is on it. It's quiet to me, so it sounds like it might be quiet for y'all too. The moon has waxed and waned many times since the, or since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargon! Praise be to Malroth! O oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Build, you say? Mm-hmm. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Monarch. 
You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Boink. <laughs> the look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero, I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you want to watch that mouth of yours, girl. Telling the truth might land you with more than you bargained for. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might be only an apprentice, but that'll do. I've actually got just the job for a lass like you. Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on the deck. Get a move on. Oh, no auto doors. Interesting. Bill Deer! Bill Deer! I have something to tell you! Press A when you want to examine something or strike up a conversation with someone. I suggest you remember this advice until the day you die! Oh, one more thing. Could you ask that girl in the brig to pipe down? She won't stop screaming! How does she expect me to rest in peace when she's being so noisy? Oh, hello. I couldn't help but overhear your hobnobbing with that dreadful dreadnought, or dreadful dead knot. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you'd come up with a plan to get us off this ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something out like that. Oh, why the goddess's name did I ever become a builder? If I'd ever been a farmer or a miner instead, I'd never have been left to rot in this stinking cell. <laughs> We thought the children of Hargon were all but vanquished, that they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? <sniffs> sniff. Sniffle, sniffle. Bill dear, Bill dear, I have something to tell you. Did you know that you can run by holding right bumper while you move around with that left stick? I'm sure the extra speed will come in handy. But take care near high ledges, or you might meet your maker sooner rather than later. Hey, slime. This is where we stow our cargo. Real slime mariners like me call it the hold. Say, you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say that you can make all sorts of stuff from just a few bits and blobs. I don't know how you builders do it. As the magnificent Hargon, Hargoon said, destruction awaiteth all that is built. To think of all that hard work gooing to waste. It's true. Anything else going on down here? Hello. Ah, the builder. Tell me, girl, do the children of Hargon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry across the waves, and many a vessel has vanished into vapor. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Now are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. Okay. Bye. I feel like the There we go. Much better. Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good girl down. <laughs> now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing in the open ocean. We've got to f no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you'll get very far, anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> A piece of kelp. Well, I can't remember the last time she ate. The thought of food makes her stomach start rumbling. Edible essentials. Okay. Bloop, bloop. All right, now we have a hunger bar. Woohoo! Down in one. That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? That pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. Volume is tad low. Okay. All right. The whoop whoop. Oh no! I'm locked to the mouse for a moment. You should thank your lucky stars that you got to scoff such a scrumptious snack, because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. That's not very nice. But don't worry, you won't be shuff 
shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to get be getting on with first. A qu oh, a quest. It's already complete. Okay, hang on one second. Okay, now I have my cursor back. I'm gonna go over here. There we go. And I didn't even have to move. Okay. <laughs> can wipe that lily-livered look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. What's that? You want to know where we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are, without a paddle, I might add, go talk to the five monsters beneath the flag over there. Okay, how about this guy? Bill Deer, Bill Deer, I have something to tell you. I know it's Builder, but Bill Deer is funnier. If you ever get stuck and can't figure out what to do, be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. It shows you're willing to do the job right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now that's a tip that'll serve you well in this life and the next. Okay. Do, do, do. Hell's bells, what a storm we had last night. It washed all the torches overboard and scattered my barrels around the deck. I beg your pardon? You say you slept right through it? Good gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log to have missed the humdinger of a hurricane like that. I don't know, sails look okay. Hello, Goomin. We're the last surviving members of the children of Hargoon, the ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring this world to its knees, all in the name of the great and glorious high priest. <laughs> What's all the slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospect of squashing you goomans once and for all. Slurp, slurp, <laughs> slurp. Ugh, this ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher-ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little drackey. Gremlins, oh lord. Well, well, if it isn't little myth builder. You're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere today without bumping into insolent little builder held into an insolent little builder hell-bent on undoing all of our hard work. The worth going down the pan, that's for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you one by one. Cree. <laughs> You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Cantlin, aren't you? I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that your end is nigh, cree hee hee. One more. Middenhall, Cannock, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did the hated heroes, the Scions of Erdrick, oh, did come the hated heroes, and laid almighty Hargon low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But one day, we will reduce this world to ruin. <laughs> so you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? So now you know we're the last surviving, we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon, loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Eh? You wanna know what we're gonna do with all these builders? Only the higher-ups know for sure. But make no bones about it, I reckon you lot are up for the chop. Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you, you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. Team Hargon? Team Hargon, that's not very nice. We're team builders. Hey, Zero. Listen up, builder. 
Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, he'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Is DQ Builders 2. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop. We can go like this and punch this wood. Punch it good. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. We did it. Well, well, my deck looks much better. Looks in much better shape now that you've picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? I don't know what that means. Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick in the coccyx. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind. But considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. He wouldn't forsake me for such a little thing like this. Right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling to your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like the dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. Okay. Oh, more. You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying out about my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. Can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? And faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. Dopey grin. No, get out of the way, Captain. You what? You always look like that when you, someone's got a job for you. Hmm. Seems like you aren't scared of us at all. Better keep you busy or who knows what you might try to pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood that you could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. Do you see the worn out workbench over there? Use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you will need this oil to craft them. Splats of oil. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. The five black blocks will be your sign. There is only there is one by the workbench and four around the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each black block. Do not fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. Built to order. Snappy put down. Boop. Bop. Bop. And bop. Much better. Huh. Seems like you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly, burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister, if I do say so myself, but I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard this ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Okay. Since you said... Uh... Is it somebody up here? There we go. Well, if it isn't the so-called builder, anyone think you own the place the way you're strutting around this deck? What's with that attitude? You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders and you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship. 
as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Oi, you! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill her, eh? <laughs> Alright, better put them dukes up. I warned you, though. That skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished, if you can still walk. Bop. Ow. Punch, punch, punch. Oof, that really cut to the bone. Defeated. Well, you're a better boxer than you look, I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Luckily, you don't have a future to speak of at all. <laughs> Alright, be off with you. Go and tell the bosun what a weakling you are. The bot swain. You fight worse than a wet washcloth. <laughs> you fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you'd had a weapon. <laughs> a likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of them torches you're such a whiz at whipping up? Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you've got there? Thinking. New recipe. Cypress stick. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. Yes, she is. She is downstairs ringing the bells, because that's what she do. You what? You just lurked that worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that you builders can invent things as well as make them? Well, don't just stand there looking gormless. Put your money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick, then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. A weapon's of no use otherwise. Hi, dog. Can you lay down instead of ringing the bells and being a nuisance? No? Okay, bye. Whoop. Stick it up for yourself. Boink. Here's a stick. The girl genius returns, cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack at the old bag of bones now that you've got a weapon? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the spirit. I'm gonna watch that rotter try to put himself back together once you're through with him. Bop, 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 bop. Ugh, compound fracture. Ugh, a bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then, lass. Go and brag about beating me to the bosun. Okay. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Let's look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding the dog. <laughs> you what? You feel a bit sorry for him. <laughs> That's a new one. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You Builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet. Not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, almighty Hargon. How did those hated humans ever manage to defeat you? <laughs> did the whole world not cower before you after you obliterated Moonbrook? <sighs> if only I'd risen from my grave in High Priest Hargon's heyday, I would have led an undeath of luxury instead of being stuck here on his skeleton crew. Eh, it could be worse. You good, bud? There's no response. It's just a pile of bones. Oh, nope, he's fixed. Oh, nope, he's still dead. Yep, definitely just a pile of bones. You'll, ne you'll get no response out of me. <laughs> my, my, you've been a busy little lady, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick? 
but one can hardly call oneself a builder with one, without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? No. Well, that's not. Other than that simple cipher stick. You haven't a single tool upon your person. Such a shame. Well, I think we ought to do something about that, hadn't we? We I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in a more orderly fashion. So, without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgledy-piggledy about the deck, and place them on the map beside me. And one more thing. Should you be using a mouse, you may press scroll wheel to switch effortlessly between your gloves and your cypress stick. Now go up. We got gloves. Yay! You good? Make all the noise? Okay. Pick up stuff and plonk it down. Gloves. Alright. Boop. Doo -doo -doo. So, obviously a new addition in the in Builders 2, that you can move stuff around without breaking it. Kinda nice. Nope, that's not where that goes. Boop. Bop. Of course, you can still only do it once at a time. You're not like putting it in your inventory or anything. But gloves let you preserve like the orientation of something if you pick it up, which is nice. And every once in a while, we'll end up using them. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastrels. But based on your showing, now just now, I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the ex the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be sh will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. Okay. It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more back-breaking chores. Okie dokie. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working her fingers to the bone for us monsters, and without a word of complaint, neither. I've doubted it before, and I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Hey, thanks. Still, I wouldn't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Yeah, sure. Kehehe, <laughs> of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the mornings. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Sad. Well, what it what with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running bow to stern, building like a bilio, can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders. Right now. Uh. <laughs> just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you can stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin girl. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, Lassie? Will you join my skeleton crew? Huh? Eh. I don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? Never seen anything like it before. Uh-oh. Huh? Where did this rain come from? Wah! You'll have to tell me later, Lassie. It looks like there's another storm rolling in. Wah! Where did he go? Ah, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. Wait 30 seconds. This is your world to create? 
and yours to destroy. So long. Now come to me, my child. Oi, cloth ears, what are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump down below decks and into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. Oh, right. I wanted to... Oh, weird. Can I not... Oh, because the other ones are grayed out. I got it. Just wanted to... What is this? Oh, that's fine. Where's the text speed? Message speed. Fast. I don't think this actually changes those floating texts, but... We can hope. Ah! What the heck's going on? Oh no! I fell over. C Captain, come to the hold quick, quickly. We're in deep goo goo down here. <laughs> Blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Hold on tight, I'm on my way. You are right there, Builder. Ah, I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get to the hold. Wake up. Wake up. Hargon, preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here, pronto. I need your help. Okay, I'm coming. Open. Oh, no. Over here, Builder. We got water. What took you so long, eh? We got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and a rock's gone clean through the hole. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to Davy Jones's locker. I don't know if this will work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. You've got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them. Um, what about this one? No, no, this one. Boop. That's right, we got fluid. Fluid physics. That was a closer shave than I'd have liked, but you did it. You saved my... Oh, throw me a bone, not more holes. Wow, we're taking on more water. We've got to do something. Use more of those crates to plug those holes up. You doing okay over there, Mr. Slime? You're a lifesaver, Builder. Builder, oh no, you're a lifesaver. Builder or no, I owe you one. But our run-in with that rock has made mincemeat of my hole. Next wave that hits us could... Oh no, why, I knew it. It's a race against time. Builder, cram some more crates into those holes, and hurry. I wonder what happens if you try to take the old ones out. Ah, uh, you can't, okay. Here, have a barrel. The barrel does not do anything. Okay. Go up there. That was insane. You shored up my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know where we'd be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows for how much longer... Oh, throw me a bone. We're done for. Oh no! Holy moly, look at that one! We don't have any crates big enough to plug up a hole that size. This is it, Builder! It was nice knowing you! Don't forget me, Builder! The end. Yuji Hori. He can't do it. Sure seems like there should be music for that, right? Hmm. 
Maybe not. Good thing we got those gloves, though. Now we have music. Who's this guy? Breaking blocks. He's really bad at it. And there's a car. Spoilers for what's gonna happen. There's a worm. And we're farming. And we're moving water. Yeah. Need something harder than wood mallets. Now we're smashing lots of blocks. High fives. Boats ahoy. Bringing in new stuff. Making a castle. He still can't build anything. Flags. And now there's monsters. Go get them, spiky boy. Now I'll help you. Good. That's what I'm here for. Top notch. Achievement. Hey, look, the mouse cursor's back. Let's just uh, hide that behind the camera. Yeah, where it belongs. There's a loading bar, sorry, that's what the game is doing right now. It is behind the camera. So enjoy this black screen. 80%. If we all stare at it intently, it'll go faster. Ooh, 90%, 91, 100. Monarch awakens on a sandy shore. It seems she has washed up on a desert island along with the wreckage of the skeleton's ship. She decides to take a look around to see what she can see. Not much. Also, so the map is uses the tiles from like the uh, original, like the SNES games, like the overworld maps, which I just very much enjoy. So, and we get to fill it in, which is nice. I am going to. Oh, we can only break the the drift or the broken wood okay get some seaweed a chest suddenly monarch hears a voice there's nothing here the whole place is deserted where is this place anyway how did I even get here the voice seems to be coming from the other side of that rocky outcrop monarch might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side but first this. Nice. Sand. The Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. Sky's such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell, more likely. Huh? What was that noise? Hey, Bunches, who the heck are you? It's Spiky Boy. Hi, Spiky Mans. Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? You were on that ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach? So how come you didn't cark it too? What's your story? Your name's Monarch and you're an apprentice builder. Huh. Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Malroth. Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. 
And yes, you saw that name right. But how could that be the case? Sorry, I'm act I absolutely have to fill in the map to a point where we at least have the shore done. Oh wait, it's this way. Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you've never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from that shipwreck. Yeah, done, 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 exactly. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board. If I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... <laughs> what the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. Sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. Ugh. Gasp. <laughs> Rip indeed. Where am I? How did I get here? Eep! You're p, -p, -p pirates aren't you? Filthy freebooting brigands who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. Wah! There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? There's only one good way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? The girl's got some serious issues. What do you say we should go shut her up? Permanently. Okay. Alright, used to the uh, auto-mantling. Get away from me, you villains. If you're going to take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. We're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Monarch when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Yes, I remember you. You're that builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning all, while all those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know that you were in cahoots with them, so that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're going to make things... You're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well. Alright. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn-out workbench outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, what we... What will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Lulu's demands. We need to make shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some decking from, these, from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up and you won't have to worry about splinters that way. We have no idea for how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be some scallywinkle or two, or to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on a bonfire first. You'll need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. Now it can't be expected to put my head I can't be expected to put my head down in the night in these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building a four posters, so we'll have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here anyway? Oh pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have a, the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, will you do me these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery, I guess. That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. It's like Bioshock up in here. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then, when you become a fully-fledged Builder, oh, you'll have me to thank for it training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said about putting her out of her misery? Well, how about I put her out of our misery instead? Yuck, yuck, yuck. Boink. Boop. That girl really gives me... I'm trying to work here, man. That girl really gives me the hump. 
She won't stop whinging, and then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her skivvy. Where did that blog go? Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad, say, sad case. She's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You've got to look out for number one, that's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know how you said you were a builder. Is that, like, something to do with a duck's nose? What? Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of her errands you'll do first? If it was up to me, I'd mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks into the holes and hey presto, we've builded ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked out for the rest of her request. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. That's all right. Boop. Pop. Pop. And pop. A room. Monarch, you repaired my room. Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. So they got rid of the requirement for there being a light source in it to be a room. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by anytime you like. I love the art on the little mission tiles too. Doink. <laughs> well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right, next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those scallywinkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? A builder. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is that something you can do? Hmm. New recipe. Bonfire. What's the deal with that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires and now you can build one if you have enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench? Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some. I wrung this out of a slime that got in my way here earlier. Okay. All you need now is some wood. That girl said you can get some from the driftwood and broken barrels on the beach, whatever that means. Anyway, you'd better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in. Okay, we need some scallywinkles too. There's no response. It's just a corpse. A wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. The same. Just cleaning up the beach here. We did it. The dog is back. Hello, dog. All right. Hey, Monarch, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials, which you use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about. Ah, okay. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come you, I don't know already? Look, they might be ten a penny from where you're from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking about? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and a bag of them for all of ourselves, all to ourselves. This is also something new that they added where if we are breaking things up, our party member will go and break other things up that are similar to it. What's that funny thing you got there? Wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that girl's jabbering on about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate with one of them raw, I'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn, and that's something I'd rather avoid. Boop. Let's get a couple of these. 
All right, so being underwater, we move, or not underwater, but being in water, we move slower. We can still sprint, just doesn't do much. And now we can be underwater, and that just depletes our breath. So we don't immediately die when uh, we hit deep water. So let me just uh, fill in some of the map here. So yeah, that's definitely going to be part of an OCD thing or a OCD tendency thing for me is that the map is going to have to be a certain way. And I make no apologies about it. This is the way things got to be. I'm also going to, I can't lift that. Okay. Okay. Boop. What's that you've made? It's hot as heck and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. Or are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Bonfire Bistro. Oh, right, so they changed the way cooking works a little bit. You can use a bonfire to cook food. Select an ingredient and put it on the fire with X and press A to start cooking. Careful, Monarch, that Scalawinkle fell just in the fire. Ah, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food too, eh? So it'll be a little while till that Scallywinkle's completely cooked. So let's go look for some more materials while we wait. Food takes time to cook. Just try to be patient. It'll be ready before you know it. Okay. So now we need... Not that. Ah, there we go. Some Slim Slams. Hi, friends. Don't mind me. Boop. Let's see, so he should fit. Yeah, he should see me breaking this now. And he's going to go break some more of it. Just kind of helps gather some materials. All right, that should be plenty. He'll also help us fight, obviously. So since Sprint was actually designed to be in this game, that's why we have the stamina meter, unlike in, uh, in one where they added it for the PC port. Seared Scallywinkle. <laughs> that aroma. Is that the smell of a succulently seared Scallywinkle? I must have it. Yeah, sure. Om nom 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 nom. Ah, uh, the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of sand grains. Simply irresistible. Yay. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. We did it. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I, realized I never asked for your names. Monarch and Mauroth, you say? I know you're a builder, Monarch, but what do you do, Mauroth? Well, I'm... Actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory's completely blank. Well, well, an apprentice builder and her amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like her, you must be dreaming. <sighs> Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. So, Monarch, how's progress going on that straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Gotta get my book out. Straw bed. Here we go. She's got her book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw bedding out of dry grass? 
Well, I think I saw some dry and grassy, something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? Hey, we've already been there, bud. So we can cook that as well. Let's see, we need to make three of these. Did it say to make three of them? It did, yeah, okay. And what happens when we cook seaweed? Crispy kelp. Just keep this going. Boop, boop, boop. This is wonderful, Monarch. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help recharge our energies, and after the sun goes down, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. <sighs> I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder on a desert island, no less. Hi, little dog. You gonna get on the futon? Okay. With the children of, when the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. So I stowed away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting out sleeping arrangements. Oh good, I'm glad he ate his strawberry. It's been a long hard day. I suggest we all get some well-earned rest. We did it. Sleep. Let's finish off off the task Lulu gave us before we go to bed. I'd rather not have that ninny nagging us all night. Oh. Well, we'll take that. And let's go ahead and pop some more on there. Let's see now. You've repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, and made me supper. I do believe that's everything. I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around. And judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. Yeah, I made sticks that are on fire and some piles of grass. I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. That castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. As for you, Malroth, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture. And maybe even some manners. Now then, Monarch, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forage 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp for me. It must all be cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. <sighs> hey, Monarch. Can I have a go at that workbench? I want to try making something myself. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Monarch. I'm going to be a builder, just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? Huh? <laughs> Froosh. No, that's not right. Damn it, why isn't this working? Getting mad. All right, you asked for it. Grah! <laughs> what did I do wrong? It doesn't make any sense. Ugh, why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. 
I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Monarch. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as how you made all the stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you evened things out and made something for me. Man, I guess. New recipe. Oak and club can only be used by Malroth. Boink. Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? It's not just any stick. It's an oaken club. And I can use it to whack stuff? Ha ha ha, that sounds right up my alley. Alright, I'll take it. Give it here. Boop. Now this is really a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only way, one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. Froosh, froosh, froosh. Ha <laughs> I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes with this will be so much more satisfying now. And to think you made it only by using the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Monarch. The club is the best present anyone's ever given to me. I think. Huh? Monarch, can you feel that? Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster. But whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. This could be a good chance for you to learn to f a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. Bedtime? Okay. You go get some bedtime sleepy sleeps. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. Hang on. Collect. Cook. All right. To the west. Now we also do the Naruto run. Good night. A group of monsters. I'll take care of the ads. You take care of the big guy. Oh no, he just focuses on whatever I'm doing. Ow! Ow! Hey, we are an experience now. High five. Whoa, what was that? When you stuck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five, and it's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh. I never thought of myself as a touchy-feely type. Maybe I can make an exception for this high-five malarkey. Oh. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Mm. Nice. Ding. Malroth gets stronger, and Monarch le reaches level 2. Her maximum HP increases. Mm. Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's truly an irritating little itch that has been well and truly scratched. Oh, it's like in here. But don't forget you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do. But I guess wanton destruction is much more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, alright. You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Monarch. I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together, just you and me? Let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. Okay. Time to hit the hay. Huh. Interesting. So you can see when there are scallywinkles underwater or in the sand. Huh. That's neat. Cool. Oh, hang on. 
Very important. Gotta at least have, there we go, a square of blue. There we go, okay. All right. Jump. We are almost in need of food ourselves. Everybody, sleepy time. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the bee. Eek? No! What? What's the matter, Lulu? A monster? It's my scallywinkle. It's disappeared. What? All right, Mauroff, own up. I know it was you. I purposely only ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night so that I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched your manky half-munched mollusk. Huh? That aura. What's going on this time? Hey, you two, you're going to want to see this. Ah, there's the culprit. That monster must have been the one who snappled my scallywinkle. Ho, ho, ho. Dancing. He's dancing. Smash. 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 So happy. Whoa, it just took down that whole cliff. And are those steps? Ho ho ho, this way, you young whip whip whippersnappers. Yeah, sure, why not? Floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm, on second thoughts, maybe it'd be able to tell us something about this island. Monarch, Lulu, let's get after that monster. I've got some questions that need answering. Okay. I am going to take my snacky snackage. Doink, 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 doink. Froosh. Ho ho ho! This way, this way! Quick, quick, quickly now! Fush. Er, stay where you are, you freaky fogey! I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster's even made the sky turn a funny color. Who cares about the stupid sky? I want my breakfast, and you two are jolly well gonna help me get it back. Yes, explore the island. Fill in the map. Boosh. This way, kid, kid, kitty winkles. Nearly there. He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammerhood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? Monster's got some kind of strange power. I've never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. Well, if y'all would stop stopping me. Oh, there we go. 
got to hit the edges of all the formations that we see. Whoa. That's quite a thing, huh? What's a place like this doing on a desert island? Come on, Monarch. That hammer hood's just up ahead. Let's make him spill the beans on the, all the island's secrets. There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Now just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammer hood, uh, her half snarfled leftovers. I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs or buts about it. Monarch seared that scallywinkle especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Ah, yes. Monarch, it just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up upon here for... Oh, for a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know she's a builder? Ho oh, ho, you're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum scrum scrumptious scallywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, monarch. This temple has lain in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. But if you are the builder, I believe... I, I, if you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix 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 it. Everything you need to rebuild this temp temp temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find the going diff-diff difficult without a blueprint as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger. If you think you're going to fix your, we're going to fix your house for free, you've got another thing coming. And anyway, what's a blueprint? Hmm. <laughs> Mountaintop Temple Blueprint. So now we can look at it and move it around. We can see where we are, which is the arrow in front of it. We can see what is placed and what is needed. So they definitely improved upon the interface from the first game. Uh, Monarch, why did you draw all these lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the Hammerhood was talking about? Gosh, you've never ever been here before, but you were still able to draw up a design for the mountaintop temple. That's incredible. Now all you, all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. And if that old loony was telling the truth, those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. Looks like all you need to do is place masonry wall blocks in squares and put a brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary Go glows a lot? <laughs> Uh, how a real builder does things. Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Built to spec. And we can bring up the... Okay, cool. Doop. Doop. Touch. Masonry wall. Braziers. So they kind of made this faster too, which is very nice. And bop. Bop. I don't know why they're not lit. Boop. Bop. Bum, bum. High five. He had to jump so high for that. <laughs> Good work, Monarch. You finished the blueprint. And you didn't even break a sweat. I think you'll have to build me a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing, though. How did you come up with that blueprint in the first place? Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on the on your back has everything you need to know about the builder being a builder written inside. You're busted now, Monarch. The secret's out, so you may as well let me read it. You won't? Why not? Something the matter, Monarch? You've gone all red. Wait, you don't have a mucky magazine sandwich between those pages, do you? 
Muckiness doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth and it'll be good as good as... Ho ho ho! You finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't let me down. All it took was a glance, and you drew up that blueprint quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, monarch. A builder born in bread, bread, bread. Frush. As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack, crack, cracking job you did. I got a mallet. Lulu, bash blocks to bits with big hard hits. Silly old hammer, thought you were going to give me back my breakfast. That's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the toolkit kit kit of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break 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 blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. You also have another I also have another cork cork corking gift for you, monarch. I'm sure you'll like this one. I give you this island, all of it, every last block, block, block. What? You're giving her the entire island? All she did was repair the temple. This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. But now, everything has crumb crumb crumbled away, and all that remains of the ancient builder's belief... All that remains is the ancient builder's belief and bed bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. Long have I waited for another builder to come, one who can bring life back to this barren land block by block block block. And you want Monarch here to do all the hard work? We don't even know what we're supposed to build. But that's the beauty of it. You can build whatever you want to build. And we don't know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, my mine. I'll have you know that I'm the guardian spirit of this island, and what I say goes. Well, it looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Monarch. Are you going to take that offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'll stick around too, at least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Monarch? Will you take the island? It's, stonks, it's a stonk stonk stonking good offer. Yeah, sure. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on Lulutopia. The first thing I want is a palace. Malroth, I need you to... Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we establish Malroth's Empire of Evisceration, right, Monarch? She can be our first sacrifice. Huh. Ho ho ho, you young upstarts. This island belongs to Monarch now. You should leave a uh, big 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 or you should leave big 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 decisions like these up to her. Now, Monarch, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can break, break, break this wall behind me. It's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there, and I think you'll be very interested in. The hammer. Perfect for bashing blocks. So... Okay. There should be a way... Got that. Oh, A to change. Okay. I guess that's fine. So now there's visual indicators instead of a health bar for the blocks. Which I don't know if that's better or worse. Did it. What this? Inspect. You call that a treasure? 
just looks like a tatty old notice board to me. It may seem like it may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at all that knock, all the knock, knock, knock out things you see. The notice board is where builders go to share their favorite snaps. Use it when you want to show off or need a spark of inspiration. You must be connected to the network. You must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Um. Yeah, I guess. Sure. This does let us have some cool stuff, so I'm gonna leave. Go ahead and do this. Look at all this stuff that people have done. I like this one. <laughs> Miserable and cozy. Ho, ho, ho. Did you like what you saw, young, young, youngins? Oh, yes. I saw the most wonderful photographs, and there were so many of them. I hope Monarch takes the time to snap a few herself. I can be her model. Ho, ho, ho. You young, young, youngins enjoy yourselves. Come and find me when you're done, done, done. I'll be waiting right out here. Say cheese. Okay. I will not be doing that, but it's fine. Ho, ho, ho. So, how did you like your new notice board? It's quite the snap, snap, snapper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can flout, flout, flout the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. You can also put your creations on display for other builders to view, too. I'm sure you can see that the notice board is a soup, soup, super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of all that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials, and I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Ho ho ho, I know that, little lass lass lassie. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need to track track oh on the materials you need. Track 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 them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Okay, talk. As the young dam dam damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack lack lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make much head head headway with just the three of you. Wooden stone 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 are all well and good, but what you have, what you really need is people. You have to travel to other islands and bring back 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 a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat rat ratting around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces would really liven the place up. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get these other islands without a ship? Ho ho ho, a top 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 notch question indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Huh? Hey look, a boat, ho ho ho, a ship, 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 whoever would have thought. You're doing this on purpose now. All right, out with you. Who are you really? You can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back 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 to me if I watch Monarch work her building magic. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get to the work started. Okie doke. Just gonna take a little tumble here. Ouch. It's fine. Still fine. Still fine. Ahoy there, my briny or me bil me briny bilge rats. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. 
The name's Brownbeard. I was painting the ocean blue, minding my bee's knees, when I sailed right into the patch of one of the children of Hargon slave ships. I managed to avoid him, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized my map was on, was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. <laughs> I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. And that's when I eyed this island on my port board bow and punted over. So what's your story, and how did you young snapper whippers end up here? My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. Or at least it will be once Monarch here is finished with it. Lulutopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for you landlovers like yourself. Aye, and a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on my map's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of my neck, and I don't know my neck at all. But if you hear of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry, ferry ye over. <laughs> well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks in decent nick. I'd say we've got a deal. Ho ho, it seems like everything is drop drop dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to the nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and be able and able bod bod bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now tree lined boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the wake of weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrowfield, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit, fruit, fruitful farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming and a dash, dash, dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. I'll mark, mark, mark it on Captain Brownbeard's map. You just leave the sailing to him. You heard the magic monster, Monarch. Come on and find me when you're ready to go and I'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons last time I checked. Ahoy, Monarch. And where will you be hauling anchor to today? Furrow Field. Let's go. When you travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten and your autosave will be deleted. Please do not exit the game or turn off the system until you reach your destination. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You have to leave behind everything you've gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Her stuff in the storage sack. Boot a loop. Monarch. Mauroth. You've decided to go to this new island then. Yep, we're not sticking around here any longer. Hop aboard, Lulu, you're coming too. Actually, I think I'll stay here. What the? You thought you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Hargon's slave ship, I don't think I can stomach setting foot on a boat right now. But don't let that stop you from exploring this furrow field place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look, I'll have you know. You've got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Lulutopia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn this island into a green and pleasant land. Together we can make Lulutopia a verdant paradise fit for a princess such as myself. Ho ho ho! You two go off 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 on your little adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my care. Heh, <laughs> see if we can trust a word you say. Still, it's only Lulu's neck on the line. Alright, let's roll. We'll round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work in the sweatshops of Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. When you get back, you can have a, we can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lulutopia's Foundation Day. Bon voyage! Come on, Monarch. I can't wait to see the, what furrow field is like. All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. Yeah! All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. Thus we have arrived at the main conceit of the game. We have our home base that we get to build up. And then we have other islands that are the like story islands that will serve as 
building fodder for us to bring new stuff back to the base. So the Lord of Destruction has befriended a builder. That's, that's Mauroth, just in case, you know, the name didn't give it away. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither men nor monsters can escape its influence. Or the 30 second timer on these screens. That dog though, that dog, she has escaped it. Upside down, not a care in the world. But now is the time of creation. Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we await the day of awakening. There's only one who can save this world from oblivion, Mauroth, the Lord of Destruction. Tick, tick, tick. Brutal. Kind of amazing that they did not fix that. Hey, we're sailing. Got the cursor back. likes to stop at 80%. I do wonder what the game is doing that takes it so long to load. Not that the game looks bad, but it does not seem like a game that would be resource intensive. They did make the Switch pretty unhappy, though, and every once in a while when it would be loading stuff. Furrowfield, the land of verdant vegetation. Classic field music. Here we are at last. The Harry Hermit's got a nerve sending us all the way here on a boat like this. The way it was listing from side to side, I'm amazed we made it here at all. Well, list or no list, you're safe and sound on dry land now. Welcome to Furrowfield. Yar. At least, I assume it's Furrowfield. Ain't never heard of the place myself, but it don't look like Baron or Zahan. I tell you that much. Anyway, I'm heading out for a bit to get the lie of the seas. But don't worry, I won't sail into the sunrise. I'll be back in time to take you both home. I think this guy's been drinking too much seawater. Come on, Monarch, let's get going. I want to see what this island's got in store for us. Okay. Alright, I gotta remember what all the different buttons are. This is... this island is pretty weird, don't you think, Monarch? trees are all withered, and the ground's gross and slimy, and the whole place stinks like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a month. Do you really think we'll find the greenery we're after in a slimy, sticky place like this? Huh? Whoa, what the heck's that? That's some sort of pink pulsating thing, but what is it? Welcome to Furrowfield, the land of plenty. Please stop by the farm and enjoy some delicious, freshly baked bread. I think it's some kind of fruit. Yeah, it uh, definitely seems to have seen better days. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't touch it. You reckon the whole thing is edible or? <laughs> Stupid thing just blew up in my face. What a stink. It turned the dirt all around it all gross and slimy too. Ha <laughs> ha. Never heard of fruit going off before, but not. I've heard of fruit going off before, but never like that. This place is crazy. Huh? I smell a fight brewing, Monarch. Over there. Help! Leave me alone. There's no point in trying to eat me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. Eek! 
Haha, <laughs> sounds like fun. Come on, let's go and see what the screaming's about. Hang on, I gotta build my map up. Ew, gross. Brown. Gross water. Okay, let's just get the edges here. We got sad, sickly trees. <gasps> A Draki! Get him! These Drakis have lots of HP. Got him. Some bad boons. Ow. Get him. Ow. The bad boons are defeated. Great. Ha, that'll teach those monkeys to mess with us. Right, time to get some info out of Sally Screams a lot. Oh, if this is how I die, as dinner for a big stinky ape, I hope to give him a terrible indigestion. Wait, the monsters, they're gone. Those scaredy cats must have turned tail and fled when they finally worked out who they were dealing with. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Eek! Since when have you two been standing there? Since you beat the monsters. Oh, I see. Thanks for your help. My name's Rosie. What's yours? And what are you doing here? He's Mauroth the Amnesiac and you're Monarch the Apprentice Builder? And you've come here to find out how to add a little greenery to your island? You know, going around telling everyone you're a builder is risky business. There's no telling how they might react. You're lucky you met me, and I might be lucky that I met you. Hmm. Alright, my mind's made up. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few rules. As the finest farmer on Furrowfield, it is my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me. Shall we go? I mean, I really got a thing about a map, but you're just going, so I guess I'll follow you. Shall we go? I mean, yep, I'm just waiting on you, lady. Well, here we are, Furrowfield Farm, the greatest, greenest garden on the island. How do you like it? Uh, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but it's not that great. It's not very green, and it isn't even a garden. Oh, I know, that's because we haven't built it yet. Huh? Furrowfield used to be a plant lover's paradise, with vegetables and flowers growing everywhere and anywhere. But then the spoil spores appeared and turned all the earth into the horrible, stinky slime. You can hardly even grow weeds on it. There was once a great farm here, the biggest and brightest in the whole island. And if all of us put our minds to it, I think we can bring it back. All of us? Are those guys mixed up in this too? Come, Perry, there must be something we can do. This is the last of our wheat. Not to mention the soil. We've scant enough arable earth as is. I wouldn't stand so close if I were you, Mr. Bonanzo, sir. This here spoil spore looks like it could go off any minute. Poof. Suffering slimes! Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? Quick, you two, you gotta get over there and make sure they're okay. How about I walk? What is it? By looking at the ground. <laughs> Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? We are, Rosie. But alas, our wheat is not. That spoil spore just obliterated the entire crop. Huh? And who are you, pray tell? I have not seen your faces before. And to be honest, I think I rather liked it that way. This is Monarch, and this is Mauroth. Monarch says she's a builder. Blimmin' heck. What kind of maid goes around telling everyone she's a builder? She must have something wrong with her head. Well said. Listen here, young Rosie. 
You may have fooled us this far, but we shall not be taken for ninnies. If you honestly expect us to believe that this so-called builder will somehow salvage this preposterous plan of yours, you are gravely mistaken. Come along, Perry. We're leaving. Oh. Uh, alright. You must face facts, my dear. Furrowfield Farm is gone. The dream is over, and it is time to wake up. Ugh, that stuck-up, beardy bloke really rubbed me the wrong way. Still, facial hair, facial hair felonies aside, he's got a point. There's no point trying to rebuild this farm if the soil's no good. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. I'm the finest farmer on Furrowfield, and Monarch's a real-life builder. If we work together, I know we can do it. Wow, you really don't know when to give up, do you? Why do you really want to rebuild this place anyway? Why? It's like Bonanzo said, it's my dream. Dream, huh? You know, I never really got my head around all this hopes and dreams stuff people go on about. Please, Monarch, I can't do it on my own. You'll help me rebuild Furrowfield Farm, won't you? Yeah, sure. Yippee! Now that I've got a builder on board, the farm's as good as built. Monarch, Malroth, welcome to the team. We're going to make this place the best farm ever. Let's get started then, shall we? The first thing we'll need is a field to plant our crops in. Hmm, where's the best place to put it, I wonder? If only we had some kind of sign. New recipe. A scarecrow, a stuffed straw man to drive off destructive pests, causes residents to turn surrounding suitable soil into tilled earth. What's the matter, Monarch? You're looking very pleased with yourself. You've worked out how to build scarecrows? Of course, scarecrows are always found in fields. If we stick one on the ground, everyone will know that's where our new field is. Hmm, so where should we put it? Oh, I know, just the spot. There's a little, there's still a little bit of good, clean soil over there. I'm so excited, I can hardly wait to start tilling the soil but not until you officially mark the field with the scarecrow, of course. If you need materials, you can get cord from the vines that grow around here and wood from the trees, so you just have to hit them with your hammer. Go on, Monarch, build us a scarecrow and put it in the middle of our new field. What do is get rid of all this crap first. Boink. Oh. Need the stone, too. So notably, the weapon doesn't break blocks anymore. You have to use the, uh, the the mallet to break blocks, which is nice. Yeah, and the mallet breaks. Mallet hits a lot faster. Gotta get rid of these sad trees here. Doink. Clear off that little place. We already have two workstations. We have the, what are we going to call this? This is a wooden workbench. And then, ooh, the pretty paddle. That must be a DLC thing. I've never seen that before in my life. A beautiful bat for badminton and other fun games. Blast baddies away. Interesting. Nope. We need to make one of these guys. Having a field day. When you place a scarecrow in the ground, the farmers will hoe any nearby earth and turn it into tilled soil that's ready for sowing. Bonk, oh, bonk, field. Is that what I think it is? Where did she even go? Is she over there? It is. Now that you have a scarecrow, everyone will know where to plant our crops. All right, you can leave the next step to me. It's tilling time. I'm a dab hand with a hoe. 
see. Let's get rid of the cracked wood while we're waiting for her. We got muck. She's doing all that. Let's see. Oh, whoops. That one we can place back. Doink. Oop. Monarch obs obtains a strange something. Ah, farming's so much fun. I'm so happy I could pop. You looked pretty cheery just now, too. Waving your arms in the air with a big old grin on your face. What was that about? Huh? Something popped out of me, and you picked it up? Hmm, I did feel like I was bursting with gardening glee just now. Maybe, just maybe, some of that happiness actually burst out. Well, whatever it is, it's sure to come in useful. Any more of them pop out of me, make sure you scoop them all up. Gratuitous gratitude. To show their enjoyment and appreciation for building, farming, and other things you take for granted, the residents will drop gratitude points. Try to collect as many as you can. Touch, touch. Just getting this place ready here. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to make it a little bit better. Oops. Boop. Yes, Rosie. Hang on a second. I'm I'm busy. Okay. Worst builder ever. That's not very nice. We just only got here. At least we'll have plenty of wood. Okay, that should be all of the mucky business out of the way here. What do you think, Monarch? I've tilled the earth around the Scarecrow. I couldn't have done it without you. With your excellent inventions and my farming finesse, we'll be able to make some fantastic fields. I knew there was something special about you from the moment we met. After all, not everyone would risk their life telling a stranger they're a builder. You don't see what's so dangerous about that? <laughs> Have you been living on, under a rock or something? Everyone knows that builders are the enemy. But anyway, we'd best get back to business. We have a field now, so let's grow some crops. The enemy, you say? Right, now the soil's all ready. The next thing to do is plant some seeds. Here you go, Monarch. These are for you. Cabbage seeds! To be honest, plowing is easy peasy. Anyone with a hoe can do it. But it takes a steady hand to, and a keen eye to plant a seed properly. And I think you're just the woman for the job. There should be five cabbage seeds there altogether, Monarch. Let me know when they're all resting happily in the soil. Oh, whoops. This needs to go somewhere. Right there. What? Cabbages. Good work, Monarch. You planted all of the seeds, and you did just a lovely job of it, too. Just wait until Bonanza and Perry see this. They'll be begging for a place in the architectural agricultural action. Soon enough, these seeds will sprout, and we'll be one step closer to fulfilling my dream. Thanks to you, we have ourselves a fully plowed and planted field. The only thing left to, is, left to do is water the seeds. You see that little hill over there, Monarch? Yeah. There's a spring at the very top, but it's a bit of a pain to have to climb all the way up every time... Every, every, to climb all the way up there every time we need water. So that's where you come in. Can you build something that would make it easier for us to get to the water? Some sort of irrigation station? Maybe...
irrigation station blueprint. Just take some spoiled storage, uh, spoiled so soil, and to clear a blockage. Holy heck! Is this? It is. It's a blueprint for an irrigation station. Did you draw this off the top of your head? It's amazing. It's like the one you drew back on the island, eh? But it looks like we'll have to gather the materials for this one ourselves. Well, if there's one thing we have plenty of here in Furrowfield, it's spoiled so soil. Just smash up the ground if you need some. Oh, and don't forget to break the block that's holding the water back when you're done. Then we'll have ourselves a little nice watering hole. And if you start feeling a bit peckish, just remember there's always plenty of kelp down at the beach. Uh, how much do we need? We need 23, so let's get... Get some more here, 20, 22, uh, hmm, let's go ahead and take this out, there we go, oh, we don't need the top layer. So the thing with water in this game is that every time it goes down a level, it like resets its propagation properties. Yeah, I, it really does. It is quite the wrong color. That is not the color water should be. <laughs> nice work, Monarch. Whatever this thing is, it looks like it looks just like the blueprint. Wow. Now that we've got ourselves an irrigation station, we can water the fields. Can't thank you enough, Monarch. Watering plants is a lot like tilling soil. Any old idiot can do it. You just leave the watering up to me. Stand back and watch the watering whiz work her magic. It's, yeah, you're not wrong. You're standing in it too. Okay, right. Can we build some... No. I really just need to be able to build some uh, bricks here. Please hurry. It does look worse. I can't deny that. We definitely need to be able to build wood to make that better. There we go, Monarch. All our thirsty little seeds have had a nice big drink now. That's all there is to it. Just till the soil, plant some seeds, water them, then wait. It's easier said than done, though. For one thing, you need healthy soil, and there's hardly any left on the island. It's easy to tell if the soil's spoiled. It goes all purple and sticky. Sometimes it looks green if there's moss growing on top, but when you dig down, you find nothing but grimy slime. The only soil that's any good for gardening has this nice, earthy brown color. Just take a look at some of the soil I tilled before and compare it to the moldy mud nearby. All right, Monarch, there's only one thing left to do before we can harvest our crops. Wait for them to grow. First, we'll get some little sprouts, and then a little while later, they'll start growing leaves. Before you know it, they'll be all grown up. When that time comes, you won't need any special equipment to harvest them. Just hit them with that cypress stick I've seen you swinging about. Hmm, it might be a while before they're ready to be harvested, though. In the meantime, you could pass the time by clearing away the rocks and weeds in our future fields, if you... and you could plant some more seeds, too. Speaking of which, here's a few more I had hidden away. You may as well go ahead and plant them. Okay. Growing impatient. Once you've sown your seeds, it'll be some time before the fully grown crops are ready to harvest. In the meantime, why not make the farm a little prettier? I would love to, but you won't let me craft anything, so... Zero out of ten, ugliest farm. We 
least we have plenty of wood. Can't at least get rid of all the like, crap that's around it. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We need her to water our plants. These two idiots just standing around not being helpful. Uh, maybe. We'll see what we can do about that. Oh, we do have little plants now, though. That's nice. Nope, excuse me. Do -do. progress at least wonder maybe we take this wood and can use this to rebuild that house oops and there's no telling what's in that water but it's definitely not good let's, see, let's put oops put that back in there Oh, we have full cabbages. That was fast. Okay. Well, we've almost got the uh, the first layer of walls done. We're the greatest. Wow, you've finally grown our first furrow field cabbages, and they're absolute beauties. It's been so long since we've had a proper crop, without, what with those horrid spoil spores appearing all the time and ruining the soil. In fact, I've never seen a better cabbage in all my life. Thank you so much, Monarch. Blimey. These cabbages girt are girt lush. Did you and Rosie really grow them all by yourselves? Maybe you really are a builder after all. All the more reason why we should shun her accursed presence. Shun! Come along now, Perry. We're leaving. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, sir. What's, why has Beardy got such a grudge against builders? If anything's a curse, it's that dead dog on his chin. I wouldn't say it's a grudge, really. He's just being cautious. After all, everyone knows that builders spread desolation and despair wherever they go. Do they now? Don't worry, Monarch. I don't think builders are harbingers of doom and gloom. In fact, I think they're great. Bonanzo spent his whole life being told how awful people like you are. We all have. You can't expect him to change his mind overnight. Oh, by the way, something occurred to me while we were waiting for the cabbages to come in. You see that big bell there? Well, there's an old story about it. Once upon a time, a builder came to Furrowfield. He showed the people the wonder of building to earn their awe and appreciation. Then he whacked that bell with all his might. When the islanders heard it ring out loud and clear, something awoke within them. They were filled with the power of creation, and Furrowfield Farm flourished. Don't you see, Monarch? Those funny things you've been picking up must be pieces of our appreciation, which means something might happen when you ring the bell. Well, there's only one way to know for sure. Go over and give the builder's bell, or go over to the Builder's Bell and give it a great big wallop. Okie dokie, since you said. Wee. Bonk. Oh. Ring. Bonk. Gotta super bonk it. Woohoo. The residents awaken to the benefits of building. The residents want to till the fields. The residents want to water the crops. <gasps> it's 
Scribble, 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 scribble. Da -na -na -na. Load of new recipes. Yay, we can make wood. I don't know what you just did, but it was pretty spectacular. It's like the whole place has been filled with some kind of strange power. Marauding mollusks, muscle. Oh, Bill. <laughs> what have you done? What is this energy flowing through me? My old body's been filled with a yearning to create. I've got the uncontrollable urge to go and till a field. I hope this would happen. All the power you collected was unleashed when you rang that bell. It opened our eyes to the wonder of building. It even looks like it inspired you. Now you can build simple stools, simple small tables, and chests. Is that so? I can certainly use some furniture around here. And you make, you can make all that, can you? You builders really are amazing. All right, Monarch, we're all very impressed. You can stop posing now. Oh, okay. From now on, you will have full cooperation of Perry and I. Let us rebuild this great farm and restore this place to its former glory. We shall tend to the fields from the moment we wake in the morning to the moment we fall asleep at night. No crop shall remain unwatered on my watch. That's fantastic, isn't it, Monarch? Now we can all work together to see Furrowfield Farm reborn. Mm -hmm. Human behavior. Residents will behave differently depending on the time of day and the type of room they're in. They're entitled to lives outside of farm work, you know. Alright. That went even better than I imagined. Who'd have thought that those two would ever get so fired up about building? It seems that whenever you build things for us, or when we manage to make things ourselves, our emotions overflow and turn into those funny fragments that you can see. And then, when you collect enough of that emotional energy and pour it into ringing the bell, everyone becomes better at building, including you. If I'm right about this, and I'm sure I am, these overflowing emotions are the key to getting Furrowfield Farm back on its feet. Collect as many as you can, and make us all the best builders we can be. Dink. Residents will till fields faster, water crops faster, and more recipes unlock. Okay. Okay, now that Bonanza and Perry are finally in the mood to help, we can take Operation Furrowfield Farm to the next level. Right. Problem is, farm needs soil and seeds, and it looks like you're fresh out of both. Well, um... Any ideas, Monarch? Huh, for a mob who hates builders, you certainly seem to be lost without one. What's the story there, anyway? What's so bad about builders? Come on, let's get to the root of this. Of course, the root! Well, I suppose it's more of a bulb, really. Whatever it is, it certainly isn't a cabbage. This can be the next thing we grow. Here you go, Monarch. A light bulb. What? This is... I don't remember this. Oh. I always suspected it might be special, so I kept it hidden away this whole time. Huh? Hey, Monarch, get a load of that. Whoa. Am I actually giving them free time outside of farm work? Yeah, you know, I mean... What they do in the evenings when they're supposed to be sleeping is up to them. They are allotted six hours to sleep. I'm not going to make them sleep. But if they don't sleep, then that's their problem. The platform, it's glowing. It must be because you're a builder, and you're holding the bulb. Go on, Monarch. Plant the light bulb in the light, and let's see what happens. Okay, I really just want to, like, tidy up the base real quick, and then wrap up here. But Monarch gently presses the light bulb into the soft soil. Neat. C c could this be? Oh, fiddlesticks. We've really gone and done it this time. The Master of Destruction is sure to strike us down. Master of Destruction? Who the heck's that? What? Have you, never really, have you really never heard of the Master of Destruction? Does that mean you don't know about the children of Hargon either? I see. So you weren't just playing dumb. You really don't know about the evils of building. We've been talking at cross purposes this whole time. Team hard on. Let me explain. Everyone in Furrowfield follows the teachings of High Priest Hargon, handed down to us by his illustrious children. On this island, building isn't only forbidden, it's a serious sin. It's what? Rosie! Rosie! 
We're in a whole heap of trouble we are. The pastor's on his way over. He must have seen that light from the tree. Oh, hey, Monarch, look. Mmm. Okay. What in the name of Hargon is happening here? Who planted this tree? Answer me, faithless wretches. What? 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 Building a farm, you say? Hearsay. Or heresy. Uh, how dare you sully my island with the sinful stain of creation. You will pay dearly for this. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The fields and cabbages were my idea. Don't punish Monarch just because she's a builder. A builder? This witless-looking whelp? Wait. This tree. Could it really be? Could it really be what? If you know something about it, then spit it out. If I am not mistaken, this is a young dia tree. The sacred sentinel of Furrowfield Forests, beneath whose blessed boughs this island once flourished. Mmm. Hear me, my wayward, wayward vassals. I have had a change of heart. I have seen the fruits of your labors, and I have decided to forgive you your sins. My superiors need not know of your arboreal indiscretion. I will keep your secret, so long as you keep growing this tree. But should it dwindle and die, then, sh then so shall you. G grow that tree, but I don't really know how to... You need not worry on that account, my child. Frofield's most ancient legends tell of exactly, tell of exactly what one must do to see such a dia tree grow tall and strong. You must harvest fish, 15 cabbages. Furrowfield was once far famed for its succulent cabbages. I trust that you can live up to these expectations. Should you lack sufficient seeds, I suggest you seek out more yourselves. You must harvest 50 sheaves of wheat. The people of Furrowfield once enjoyed a wide range of food, and wheat formed the cornerstone of many a delicious dish. You may find you need to travel afar to find the seeds you need. You must till 50 blocks of earth. Furrowfield was once a farmer's paradise, with fields stretching out as far as the eye could see, and no farm can operate without plowed soil. 50 squares will suffice. If you cannot find enough clean soil, I recommend you find some means of making more. I've heard, this so I've heard of this so-called dia tree. It was a mighty magical tree that protected all life on Furrowfield, or so they say. If that's true, and if we really can grow a new dia tree, then we might be able to bring light and life back to this island after all. Hold on. A creepy monster turns up out of blue and suddenly you're all going along with everything he says? What makes you think he can be trusted? Ha ha ha, we have a live one, I see. Such a spirited soul would make a fine offering to the Master of Destruction. Don't make a fuss, Malroth. We're not in a position to argue here. You too, Monarch. I can't do, do this without you. Please say that you'll help us grow the Dia Tree and bring Furrowfield Farm back to life. Yeah, sure. Yippee! Thank you, Monarch. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Hmm, hmm, hmm. A wise decision, young builder. Should you lose sight of your goal, I would bid you speak with me once more. I don't know where we're going to find wheat seeds to plant any more, or to plant, or any more earth to till, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. For now, let's concentrate on growing the cabbages. If we all work together, we'll have these tasks done in no time. Boop, doop, boop, bop, beep. Okay. No, Perry, shut up. I'm gonna build this and then we're gonna go to bed. Do 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 do. All right, so let's build some this. That should be enough. And I think we have. There's four of us. Okay, because I don't think what's his dunk needs. I don't think the pastor needs a bed. Nope.
Wow, that was exactly enough, huh? Okay, so one of the other things that is important for DQ2 is light sources. Sorry, slime. I need this. Because when it gets to be nighttime, spookies come out, as you will well remember. And spookies in this game are scared of lights. So we can use light sources to scare people or keep them away from our base while we're sleeping. Room recipes for success. Placing certain combinations of furniture or items with the inside a room will give it a special new name and residents will interact with it differently. All right, so we're just using our torches here to keep the, uh, the spooks away. Boop, there we go. So not much right now. Make two more of these. Oh, nobody wants to be on my team. Let's see, we can just do that. And that. So go to bed. So yeah, it looks like the pastor does not need a bed. I did let them have beds. And it, it boosts morale and increases productivity. Okay, so let me, can I just, oh, I can just save wherever, cool. Alrighty, so that'll wrap us up for uh, our first episode of DQ Builders 2. Here on Furrowfield Farms, we've got a ways to go because as you have so uh, succinctly noticed, it's a, it's a bit in rough shape. It's the, the farm doesn't look so great. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that up next time. Grow some stuff and make this better. <laughs> well hopefully we can do better than Detroit. Anyway, that'll do it for me tonight. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye bye.